Enterprise Communications software maker 3CX confirmed Thursday that multiple versions of its desktop app for Windows and Mac OS were affected by a supply chain attack. Version numbers include 18.12.407, 18.12.416 for Windows, and November 18, 1213, 18.12.407, 18.12.416 .12 for macOS. The company said it used the services of Mandian, owned by Google, to investigate the incident. Meanwhile, it encourages customers using self-hosted and on-premises versions of the software to update to version 18.12.422. 3CX hosted and startup users do not need to update their servers as we will automatically update their servers overnight, 3CX CEO Nick Galia said in a blog post. The servers will be restarted and the new Electron app MSI DMG will be installed on the server. Evidence so far points to compromise in 3CX's software creation pipeline to distribute Windows and macOS versions of the application suite, or alternatively, poisoning of the upstream dependency. The scale of the attack is currently unknown. According to a post on 3CX forum, the earliest period of potentially malicious activity is said to have been detected on or near March 22, 2023, but preparations for complex campaign began no later than February 2022. 3CX said last week that the initial alert that pointed to a potential security issue in its app was considered a false positive because no antivirus engine at VirusTotal has labeled it as suspicious or malware. The Windows version of the attack used a technique DLL sideloading to load a rogue library called ffmpeg.dll, which is designed to read encrypted shell code from another DLL, d3compiler47.dll. Sedenikin is downloading a new executable this included accessing a GitHub repository to retrieve an ICO file, containing URLs hosting the final stage payload, system information, and an information thief that can collect sensitive data stored in web browsers. British cybersecurity vendor Sophos pointed out that shellcode used in the attack was a byte-to-byte -byte match, with previous examples see only in incidents attributed to Lazarus Group. The choice of these two DLLs by the threat actors behind this attack was not accidental, said Reversing Lab security researcher Carlo Zanke. The target in question, 3CX desktop app, is built on the Electron open source framework. Both of the libraries in question are usually shipped with the Electron runtime, and are therefore unlikely to raise suspicion in customer environments. Likewise, the macOS attack chain bypassed Apple's notarization checks to download an unknown payload from a currently unresponsive command and control server. The macOS version does not use GitHub to retrieve the C2 server, said Velexity, which monitors activity under the UTA0040 cluster. Instead, a single byte XOR key, a list of C2 servers is stored in the 0x7a encoded file. THN webinar become an incident response specialist. Uncover the secrets of bulletproof incident response, master the six-step process with Synod's IR lead Asaf Perlman. Don't miss the opportunity, save your seat. Adam Myers, aiming at many organizations across a wide vertical range without any obvious patterns. Activity has been attributed to Labyrinth Columna based on the observed network infrastructure, similar setup techniques, and a reused RC4 key that are uniquely associated with Versary in question. Senior Vice President of Intelligence at CrowdStrike told The Hacker News. 3CX applications with Trojans run a variant of ArcFeed Loader, the malware uniquely attributed to Labyrinth Columna. According to the Texas-based company, Labyrinth is a subset of the Lazarus Group, which also creates Silent Columna and Stardust. Myers noted that the threat actor has been active since at least 2009 is often trying to generate revenue by targeting cryptocurrencies and financial institutions, probably affiliated with Bureau 121 of North Korea's General Reconnaissance Bureau primarily. He added that he was conducting espionage operations and income generation plans. Google Chrome Block's latest 3CX MSI installer 3CX said in an update shared Friday that Google prohibits downloading MSI installer files via the Chrome web browser. It also noted that several companies' antivirus engines block any software signed with the old security certificate. The following MSI installers are blocked SBC for Windows, Windows Desktop App and CallFlow Designer. However, there are indications that the restriction may have been lifted, as some customers have reported that they were able to download the latest version via Chrome. 
In response, the company said it is making MSI installers with new certificate and a build server, process that is expected to take at least 8 hours. It encourages its customers to use the web application version instead.